Hey guys, looks like we're live. Surprise, it's Tuesday and I'm here. Let me find us. Let me find us. Come on, where are we? There we are. Let's see. Say hi and we'll see who pops in. who pops in. So guys, I know I'm not usually live in here on Tuesday, but oh, what a busy day it's been. I'm telling you. So I, it was a launch day for our hard surfaces, our brand new hard surfaces. So the bunnies, y'all, the bunnies, the bunnies, the trucks, the truck accessory pack, the shapes, the simple shapes, the little um, palette, uh, not palette, the little, oh, why can't I think of the word? Um, it's like a charcuterie tray, <laughs> that's what I, that's not the word, but um, they all launched today, and so this morning started out with all of you guys that had placed pre-orders, for the hard surfaces that I had to place all those orders this morning, so I got that done, and then I was in the salon, and then um, I was working with team members all day, so, but I wanted to, y'all, this is still hanging up in my house. It's still hanging up in my house, and it's not Christmas anymore. <laughs> So I needed to change this, so I thought I would come hang out with you guys um, and see if any of you see me on here. And we're gonna change this out, okay? So this is our um, 12 by 18 Grayson chalkboard. And this is part of, I use it on my gallery wall in my um, kind of kitchen dinette area. So we're gonna swap this out, get rid of the Christmas. Remember, design, love, repeat. Design it, love it till you don't. Well, I don't love this anymore. <laughs> and then wash it away and repeat. So, and then I have a couple of signs I wanted to do. So I thought, well, I'll just come out and come and hang out here and um, see who might pop in. So I'm just going to wet this down. Because remember, our stuff just comes right off. It dries super hard, and then you can wash it away when it's on a chalkboard. If it's on a uh, kind of a one-time use surface or like the boards that I cut and make signs, um, those are they're pretty much one-time use. And then, of course, those type of things I seal um, so they are permanent. So we're just gonna wet this down and then give it a few seconds and then I'm just gonna take our um, paste paste scraper and I'm just gonna scrape all that chalk away. All done, I'm sorry Rudolph, but it's time for you to go. So we're gonna just get rid of Rudolph and Santa. Take a pipe of towel and wipe that up. Hey, Leona. Hey, Margaret. Surprise. <laughs> I'm here on Tuesday. I am working on some projects. It's been a busy day, but I was going to work on these, and I'm like, I'm going to go hang out with anybody that's in there. Hanging out. We got a lot of new members on the page today. In the group, I'm excited to have new members join us. I may have to get a board eraser on this one. This one might take a little board eraser action. There we 
we go. That takes it right off. So what have you guys been doing all day? Daryl is so, <laughs> so my, it's, my motorcycle needs to go in for, um, you know, new, the whole, the whole shebang, new spark plugs, new this, that, the other thing. So Daryl was going to take it in today on a um, trailer because the weather is nasty. Y'all, we had sunshine. We had rain and we had hail today. Like a for the love. Seriously? <laughs> Make up my mind, right? So he was going to take the motorcycle in. Now, mind you guys. So Daryl is the captain on the boat and I'm the captain on the bike, believe it or not. So he's trailering it in, and he went and got the trailer, and he got the wrong size trailer. <laughs> Leona's enjoying 50 degree weather, right? I mean, I'll take the rain. I'm ready for the snow to be gone. How, even though it was very pretty, uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for spring, y'all. I am ready for spring. So there we go. All washed off, just took the board eraser to it, get it all nice and dry, and we are ready to roll. So, Margaret had physical therapy today. Hey, did you ask the physical therapist about that um, decompression stuff that um, Joyce has been having? Maybe that would help you too, Margaret. So, guess what I'm putting on here, y'all? I'm putting on here, life is better at Nana's house, Grandma's house. I think this will be a perfect piece on my gallery wall because I have other things I'm going to add with it. So we're going to be working on projects for my gallery wall. So let's get this thing opened up and fuzz. We're going to need to fuzz it. So anyway, needless to say, the bike didn't get to go in. He's going to have to get a different size trailer. He came in and he said, uh, I got the trailer's not big enough. And I, I'm like, what do you mean it's not big enough? It's not big enough. I forgot the size. Because I, y'all, I have a three-wheeler. I don't, I don't ride two wheels anymore. I can't physically do that. So I have a Can-Am Spider, and that's the one with the two wheels in the front and the one in the back. So it's five feet across the front of this bike, and he, his trailer was not big enough to do that. Okay, let's see. Where did I put my fuzzing? Here we go. I'm still using this, guys. I still have not gotten my other two out of the, out of the dryer. So all I'm going to do is just carefully, carefully, actually I can do it right on the frame now. And so I make sure I put it on, not upside down. Uh, they don't do that there? Oh, bummer. Bummer. Well, I hope your physical therapy is helping. I know physical therapy really helped me. It's not going to, I mean, I'm going to kind of be stuck with what I've got now. But it could be worse, so I'm not going to complain. Because there are a lot of people that have a lot worse than me. All right, so you just slide that off upside down on your board. And remember to write back on the back of your backer sheet. And then when we put it back, we put it back on the shiny, shiny, shiny side, right? So we can use our transfers eight to 12 times. And I'm saying all this too, because we have so many new members um, of the group that have are not really that familiar with Chalk Couture. 
So I'm going to just lay this down. Again, you can use a towel, you can use your apron, you can use your sweatshirt. All we're going to do is get a little bit of lint just to ease the stickiness of this a little bit. Hey, Dina. How are you? Hey, Joyce. We were just talking about that, that decompression stuff you've been having done. Margaret says they don't do it where she's at. Okay, so again, I'm just going slow so that I don't flip this back on itself. So anyway, Daryl couldn't take the bike, but he um, went over to Mount Vernon to get, um, he found a riding lawnmower that he's going to pick up. And he was going to do it all in one one shot, but yeah, that's not going to happen because he got the wrong size trailer. So he's going to have to go back. Okay. We'll see if this lines up on the frame the way I want it to. Ooh, darn. I did it the first try, y'all. <laughs> Love it when a plan works out. Okay. So now that we've got it kind of stuck, I'm going to lift it up and we're going to gently put it down, pushing the air out from underneath it. Because remember, this is not a stencil. That's not a hole in that. It's an actual fine mesh screen. I got to figure out a way to put this on a shirt with some ink. But that's a big word. I mean, I guess I could make it work. <laughs> I think I need a big sweatshirt to put it on, don't you guys? I bet it has, Joyce. I know, I'm so bummed because I thought that would probably help Margaret too. All right, guys, that looks like I got it on straight, doesn't it? You tell me. Does that look like I got it on there straight? My eyes are tired today, y'all. And I still haven't gotten to the eye doctor because I can't get in till March. All right, so I decided I'm going to use, I want to use our new golden hour. Isn't that pretty? So the, the wall that this is going to go on is um, almost this color. It's an accent wall. So it's a little bit darker than this. So I thought this yellow would look really nice. And then we're going to use a little bit of uh, dune for that frame around the edge. I think that'll be cool. Looks good, Joyce? Okay, good. I'm glad. Because for a second there, it looked a little crooked. But I'm like, it can't be. I've got the same amount of... So thank you, thank you for looking at that. All right, so I'm going to do the frame in this. How do I want to do this? I think I'm going to do the frame first and pull it up. We'll do the chalk and peel. Um, and I've already kind of been working with these colors, so they should be good to go. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So now we'll just grab a squeegee. And I'm going to use the littler squeegee. And I'm only going to, I'm going to go around and do the frame. And then I can pull that up. Because it does dry quickly. So if you're working with multiple colors, this is like the perfect method to use. Now our new creamy dreamy formula of chalk paste takes quite a bit longer to dry. So you have a lot more time to play with it. So I'm kind of putting it on and scraping it back as I go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull 
pull those two up. That just this frame, I'm going to use that a lot on on things. I just love that frame. It's perfect for and then you could put so many different things in the middle of it. So that'll be great for the wooden signs I make. Okay, so I've kind of pulled it off, pulled it loose. Now I'm just going to drop it like it's hot and make sure it's still pushed down where I haven't done. There we go. Now we'll finish the rest. Oh, I guess I could pull you guys down closer so you can see what I'm doing. Lord. excited to get this gallery wall done. I've been working on so many other orders that I haven't had time to do this. Okay. So I'm just covering all that open screen with the paste, covering it up, and then scraping back anything extra. We want it you know, less is more with this. You don't use a lot of paste. Just make sure everything's covered. And then I'm going to scrape back the extra back in the jar. All right. Now I'm going to pull those two sides up. And then we'll do the words. Pull, pull, pull. And then once I've pulled it up, I can just drop it. And I'm not pulling it corner to corner because we don't want to stretch the transfer, right? We pull top to bottom or side to side. Okay, that's good. And then just drop it. I'm going to make sure everything is still down. And now we're going to use eucalyptus on the key and the at and the rest is going to be our um, brand new golden hour. I can't wait to use this color. Okay so this one the lid's already in it. I had opened it to show people the color but look at that color. Oh look at the creamy dreamy. Love it. All right so I think we'll do all the yellow spots first. I think I do need to give this a little bit of a stir here. to go. The color didn't look quite as smooth as it should have. Okay, there we go. So we do need to stir it. Okay, so I'm going to go up so I don't get my at part. We'll kind of outline the things that we need to get and what we don't want to get. Try to keep me in the lines because you all know I don't like to color in the lines so I kind of can get all over. And this is creamy dreamy so this is going to take probably six to eight minutes to dry unassisted which is nice when you're first starting out with chalk to give you so much more time to work with it and not have to worry about it drying in your screen I've 
got it outlined, I can get jiggy with it here. ahead and scrape back extra right now and use that to get the rest of this G. This is such a pretty color. Okay, wipe all the extra and then I'm going to grab my eucalyptus and I did pre-stir the eucalyptus so I know it is good to go gonna grab a squeegee and grab this part and I'm being careful not to mix the colors they might look like I'm getting getting them mixed but there's a little bit of space there and then my key I thought about doing that key in copper but I think this will be good the shimmer copper would have been cool too with what I'm putting next to it, but if I change, decide to change my mind, I can always wash it off and do something different. Okay, that is good to go. Now, I gotta have this ready so I can put it back on the backer sheet. I'm gonna set it right here in my chair so I can lay it right onto the backer sheet when I pull it off here. We're gonna pull top to bottom or side to side. And just give it a little wiggle. Oh, I love this. Okay, now I'm going to go real easy this part so I don't flip it on itself. And then when we're all done, I'll just take this in to the sink and wash it with just plain water. And then put it back on the shiny side, let it dry, let it dry, sticky side up and then lay it back on the shiny side of the backer sheet. So for right now, I'm just setting it on the backer sheet to keep it safe. So it doesn't stick to a whole bunch of stuff that I don't want it to. Hang on just a sec there. See if I can line that up better. There we go. That'll work. I'm gonna set that aside. Hang on just a sec, guys. All right, I love it. There is our beautiful sign that's gonna go, wall decor that's gonna go on my gallery wall. Do you, don't you love that yellow, Margaret? It's so pretty. And I'm not a yellow person, but this looks, it looks like butter. And I like butter, so. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's clean that up. And then, y'all want to hang and do one more? Let me know. I've got a couple lined up here that we can do. Ooh, almost dropped that right on there. And that yellow is still not dry. So it it really does take a good six, six to eight minutes for it to dry all by itself. Joyce says sure. Okay. I did, I dripped water on that. So, I know that yellow is not dry yet, so I'm gonna be super careful. See, I'm flirting with disaster. But I won, it's okay. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see, I need one more cleanup. Clean up on aisle five.
Leona says yes. Margaret says yes. Cool. Cool beans. Let's do it. Let's hang out and craft. So I'm going to have Ophelia on Friday, y'all. So Alex and her girlfriend are going to go on a girls weekend. So I'm going to take care of Ophelia while the boys are working on Friday. So I'll try to come live so y'all can see her. She's just the cutest little button. She still has not taken her, you know, started walking yet, but it's like we just know she's going to do it any day now. Oh, I just love this one. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside so I don't mess it up while we let it dry. Set it right there and it'll be nice and safe. Okay. So, let's see. I'm going to let y'all pick. Here's something else I'm working on, you guys. They're not done, but look. <laughs> I'm going to teach you how to use our Easter, this is an Easter, one of our Easter eggs, you guys. I know that those are going to be coming back, um, and I'm turning them into little bunnies. Dina says, my aunt should see that, she'd like it. I bet she would, for sure. All right, let's see. I'm going to open I feel like I have to open this up so I can see you. I feel... <laughs> I feel like I can see you. All right, so here's what I've got. So I want to do the Beaver Falls Lodge. I really want to do that one. And then um, I have another board that I painted. So this is um, three quarter inch, um, three quarter inch wood, and I left it. I do finish the back, but I wanted you to see that it's just a piece of wood. Um, that I cut and then I painted it um, with chalk paint and it's called mink. It's just this beautiful brown color. And I thought this would be pretty to put, um, what I love most about my home is who I share it with. So that would be really cool to put on there. And then I thought I would do the Beaver Falls Lodge. I could do that on here too but I want a lighter background. Um, I think I want to do these two. Okay. Love the Beaver Falls. So Joyce wants to see Beaver Falls. Okay, so here's what I have planned for Beaver Falls, you guys. Maybe I do. I think I want to put it on here. I think I want to put Beaver Falls on here. But we're going to make it um, lighter. We're going to make this background lighter. Because I think it needs to be. Because that's just what I think. <laughs> so y'all don't mind if I just do my thing, right? So I want... I want the edge to still be this brown color, and we're going to distress it. Hey, Barbie, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Um, so I am just going to. I think I can. I think I can do the width of this painter's tape all the way around. I think I can. Let's see if I can. Let's see. I think this is going to fit right inside there. Yes, it will. It will. Okay. Okay. I love it when a plan comes together, y'all. Love it. Okay. So again, we're working on three quarter inch piece of wood that I then painted this mink brown. So I kind of got some of the preliminary stuff out of the way. And then we're going to paint the inside white. Hey, Shirley. How are you? I know it's so funny to have me on here on Tuesday, right? I think I'm going to start trying to come in here on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I think that's what I'm going to try. We'll see. 
always Thursday. We always have our crafting date on Thursday. Crafting and chatting. All right. So I just did the width of the painter's tape all the way around, and I think this is going to fit. That's going to fit. Oh, it's not going to fit down here. Um, all right, let's see. Maybe we'll make the bottom. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull that up and we're going to make that a little bit narrower. Let's see if we can work this out. We'll do it a little narrower on the top. Oh, well, Diane, put the tape on straight. See, y'all, my eyes are cross eyed. Um, I'll tell you, just I'll measure. That's a great question. Thank you for asking that, Joyce, because, you know, I forget forget to tell y'all that. Okay. I think that's straight. All right. Come on now, work with me. All right. Let's see if that's going to fit now. Yes. Okay. That looks good. I'm going to look and see if I've got about the same amount. And I do. You know, it's one of those, it's good enough for government work, right? It doesn't have to be exact, exact. Okay. So this is a 10 inch by, I think 12. Yes. It's a 10 by 12 board. Okay. So now we're going to paint this white, and then we're going to distress it a bit. And y'all, I, I knew, it's every time I forget something, I forgot to bring in my, um, my water. That's okay. We'll make it work. All right. So I'm going to work with some white chalk paint and I'm going to give it a stir make sure everything is good and I got all your stuff ordered this your hard surfaces ordered surely got that all taken care of this morning all right, let me, I think I'm going to put this on with a chip brush, almost in a dry brush, because I want it to look rough. I want it to look, you know me and my, um, let me get a plate, dry brushing stuff. So I'm going to use just a chip brush, and we're going to dry brush this. So we'll just offload some. Let me bring you down again. So we'll offload and then I'm just going to start painting, dry brushing. And we're going to put a good amount of dry brushing on this because I want the back definitely light. But instead of painting it solid white and then distressing it, I might as well just do the dry brushing heavy. So when you're dry brushing, if you go really light, see how light it is? But if I put some pressure, see how I get that darker spot? So you don't need to put a lot of pressure, but if you want it darker in a spot, just put a little pressure on it. See, just a little, little tap, a little tap will do. And like I said, I want this mostly kind of white in the background. But 
That'll save me from distressing it, doing it this way. And then if you ever have a spot that's too heavy, you can um, just take a paper towel. Here, we got a paper towel here. See, I brought everything else in but the water. And then just um, rub it like this. Like if you want it to blend in just a bit more. See how that changed that? Just like that. Okay, let's do some more. Because again, I want the background of this pretty light. But I want to go ahead and just see some of that brown through there. Save me coming back and distressing it. Oh, I'm liking it. What do you guys think? Are you liking this? I like how that looks. there. And you do want to go kind of one direction when you're doing this. Again, in pain, in creating, there's no solid rules. There's guidelines. And then you decide what you want your piece to look like. But I think that looks really good, and it's going to be awesome with this beautiful mink brown underneath. Oh, yeah. So there we go. Happy girl. Oh, how cool is that? That's fun. You like that look? Barbie likes the look? Awesome. That is exactly what I wanted. So we really changed it with just a little bit of something. A little bit of dry brushing with some white chalk paint. Okay. Guys, I got a new stain too, I can't wait to try. And I, wait till you see what we're gonna use it on. <laughs> I had another idea. <laughs> and I think it's a good one. Something fun and functional for the house. Okay, so I'm gonna get this dry. Let me see, do I have my glue gun on? I better turn that on. I might need that, I don't know. So we're going to get this dry. I know it's a stupid question. Okay, Barbie, there are no stupid questions. None at all. What do they you say? The only stupid question is the one unasked. Let's see. But I'm new to chalk paint. What is the difference between regular paint and chalk paint? That's a great question. Um, is it the texture and what... Um, is it, is it texture and what the finished product is? So, um, so here we're talking about a few different things here on this page, okay? So chalk paint, what I just used, so it's a paint, P-A-I-N-T, right? Chalk paint is a, um, it has a little rougher texture when it's dry because chalk paint has um, calcium carbonate in it. Um, and so if that gives it a little bit rougher texture, which you can smooth down, you can knock that down with a little sandpaper. But the thing with chalk paint is you don't have to pre-sand, you don't have to pre-prime, you don't have to do any of that. That's why we love chalk paint, because it sticks to everything. It'll stick to glass, plastic, you name it. And it dries super, super fast. 
So that's why I love chalk paint. And I use chalk paint on um, all the furniture that I do too. I use chalk paint. And then, so that's the difference between regular paint and chalk paint is the texture, the drying time, and the fact that you don't have to prime, you don't have to pre-sand, you don't have to do any of that. We love that. Carolyn, my sweet hairdresser friend is here. How are you, girl? Um, and then what we use with chalk couture is chalk paste. So see, it says paste. So it's similar in the fact that it goes on wet and dries super hard finish and it does it quickly. Um, but it's much thicker than a chalk paint is. So with our transfers, you want to use only chalk paste. Well, not only chalk paste because you can use our transfers to etch glass. You can use etching cream and etch glass with our transfers too. But when we're using our transfers, we're using either our chalk couture ink on fabrics or porcelain or glass, something that can be heat set in the oven or um, with an iron or heat press, or we're using our chalk paste. So that was a great question and I'm really glad you asked that because um, not, you know, it's, it's, Lord have mercy, I've been through the learning curve, I get it. Um, you didn't know that. Of course, you're very welcome. I am so happy to help and y'all inspire me and I, I love sharing with you guys. So hopefully that helped. And if, if you forget, ask me again. It's absolutely fine. We are such a, just a warm group here. So no dumb questions. Okay, so see already it's really dry, pretty much. I'm just gonna... Make sure, because I'm gonna chalk over this, so I need it to be completely dry. Because what would happen if it's not completely dry is when I lay the sticky transfer down, if it's not completely dry, when I pull the transfer up, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna pull that paint up on the back of my transfer. And yes, it does wash off. And the reason I know this is because I've done it more than once. <laughs> I didn't learn the first time. <laughs> There's a lot of folks on here that have been watching me a long time. They've seen me do it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't learn. I get in a hurry and I don't take my time. And so that's what would happen. So we want to completely dry this. Then we're going to, I'm going to just take a sanding block and knock it down just a little bit. It's just a little rough. I make my own chalk paint, you guys. I don't, I mean, there's a couple of folk art ones that I do like, um, but most chalk paints are um, limited to like 10 or 15 colors, and I need a million and 10 and 15 choices. <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> so it's really pretty smooth. Oh, you're so welcome, Barbie. So welcome. All right. That's good and dry. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. So I am going to, because I forgot to bring water in here, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to wrap it in a baby wipe and I'm going to throw a little water on the bristles so that way it won't dry in the brush and I can clean it. Now these chip brushes are really inexpensive brushes, you guys, but I say if I can use it more than once, why not, right? All right, so I've got a little 220 sanding block here, and all I'm gonna do is just knock it down just a little bit. And I'm gonna try to sand in one direction here. And I wanna I wanna kind of distress these edges a little bit. So I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get a little muscle in there on these edges. Yeah, I like that. That's just gonna let a little bit of that natural wood, this color. I will paint the back of this, but I wanted y'all to see what I was using. Um, so it's gonna let a little bit of that color show on the edges, and I like that. Okay, so I'm really giving it some pressure to get, get it down to that wood. 
because I want this to look a little, little rustic, a little old. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. And then this side. So you just sand it till it's the way you want it. Okay, I think I'm happy with that now. going to take a soft cloth and wipe this off. So see how it's how those edges are now? They're a little bit a little bit distressed. I like that better. Okay. Now I'm going to get rid of this. And dump that in the trash. Okay. So we're going to get our fuzzing cloth back and we are ready to wax this and chalk on it. So anything that is not a chalk couture chalkboard, I wax, okay? So I buy, and the reason I say that is because you can get chalkboards all kinds of different places, and I make frames with chalkboards in them. Um, not so much anymore because I have chalk couture stuff, um, but I used to do that, and you always want to wax those because um, it could pull the backer off your transfer. So we want to protect our transfers so we can use them 8 to 12 times, right? And we want to um, also protect the surface we're putting it on. So we're just going to put a little wax. So this is our surface wax. I guess I didn't show you guys what I'm using. So I just, I like putting it on with a brush. You can put it on with a soft cloth, um, but I like when I wax, I'm used to this from waxing furniture. So I'm just going to put a little bit on. And then if you have time, let it sit for 15 minutes and start to dry. But I'm usually, you know, going 90 miles an hour. So you don't have to, but um, that works well. And when you put it on, it's kind of tacky when you first put it on. And then we're going to take our soft cloth and we're going to buff it. So if you have a piece of wood that's got like, it's kind of uneven, um, like pallet board, things like that, um, if it has that a little bit of unevenness to it, the wax will set in those grooves and smooth it out. Thanks, Barbie. Yeah, I really like it like this. So I will finish the back and in that chocolate and so it will be a complete finished piece. Even when I'm doing them just for myself, you guys, I like a completed back. So this is our Beaver Falls Lodge transfer. And y'all, this is going in a wreath. I'm gonna make a sign out of this and I'm gonna make a wilderness wreath with this in it. I think that will be perfect. All right, so I am gonna grab my marker and write back on the back. That way you're not tempted to put it back on the wrong side. And one side, like this is clearly a matte side and the other side is super shiny. But if you're chatting with your girlfriend on the phone or you've had a couple glasses of wine, 
Again, I speak from experience because I've done it. You can get it off the backside, but you might stretch the transfer a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to get some fuzz on here. Oh, I can't wait to see this when it's done, y'all. Woo! I've had these projects laying down here under the table for quite a while. <laughs> Joyce likes to finish the back as well, absolutely. When I chalk with a transfer on glass, all I need to do is make sure I fuzz my transfer really, really good, yes. And you'll feel it, Shirley, the minute you start to lay it, it if it like sucks down, you need to fuzz it some more. So on porcelain, glass, metal, um, you really, really, really wanna fuzz. Okay, so I fuzz it till, you know, I can, I can get my fingers to, it kind of comes off my fingers pretty, pretty easily. Just easing that sticky a little bit. Now let's see, I've got to get this centered in here. I can't believe it. I think I did it the first time. I think I did. I think I did. It is my lucky day. I always tell you guys that the longest part is getting things lined up. You just have to take your time. Yeah, I'm going with it, guys. I think it is pretty close to perfect and nothing it doesn't have to be perfect y'all listen life's not perfect nature's not perfect but nature is beautiful so it doesn't have to be perfect all right So I've pushed all the air out. So we are going to use, we're gonna use copper. Garden herb. And black would look great on here, but I think I'm I think I'm actually going to use the chocolate. So if you weren't on last night, guys, um, I found mocha and chocolate when I was cleaning and arranging all my paste, and I dug way in the bottom. These are colors. These colors are two years plus old, and I opened them and stirred them up, and they are perfect. So. I think I'm going to use chocolate on the beaver and this uh, tree. And then I'm going to do green on here. I think I'm just going to use copper on the established. And maybe the frame. No, I think I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use chocolate on the frame too. Okay. We have a plan, Houston, we have a plan. I don't know, should I use mocha? All right, y'all decide. Look, this is chocolate, this is mocha. Should I use mocha? And this is our green. So chocolate or mocha for the beaver, the beaver and the frame. I think, oh, let's see what you guys say. I kind of had thought about which one I want, but let's see if you guys agree with me. That's C. I like it when we do a group project. But the Beaver Falls Lodge is gonna be, I wanna do that in the green. Barbie says chocolate. Who 
else is going to chime in? I'm going to sit down a minute and drink my tea because my back is starting to hurt. Maybe mocha since the frame is dark. Okay, Leona says chocolate. See, and my thought after Dina says chocolate, everybody's saying chocolate. See, my thought was to go with the mocha because the frame was so dark. And, and I want this to look like, like a tree. That would be hard to cut in because I was thinking I could do the tree in mocha and do the beaver in the chocolate, but that would kind of be hard to cut in around that tree. I could do it because I got little squeegees, but... Hmm. What to do, what to do. Margaret Adger agrees with Joyce. Hey, Jana. What did you miss? Um, so I did the grandma. Did you see the grandma? And now I just took, I went out and cut a board and we painted it and then we, um, we painted the inside with chalk paint and now we're doing Beaver Falls on it. Can you use both as a mix? I could, I could. I could, but I think I only want to use one. I really think I only want to use one. Um, uh, okay, let me, let me look at this, let me look, so the chocolate really matches the frame, we're going, we're going to use mocha. That was a struggle, y'all. We're gonna use mocha, 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 mocha. That is thirsty. So we'll put a little bit of distilled water in it. And the reason I went with mocha, guys, is because mocha is the lighter of the two. And if I don't like it, I can lay the transfer back down and go right back over it with the chocolate and you'll never know that the mocha was there. <laughs> Where going the other way may not work quite as well. Okay, so we're looking for cake batter consistency. So this one is definitely a little thirsty. Flip a coin, Barbie says. Yeah, I was almost ready to kind of do that. <laughs> They're, they both would look really good. They really would. So again, the reason I chose it is because I can go right back over it and you'll with the darker chocolate if I chose to. All right, so there's our mocha. And I think our green is good because I just stirred that. And then, of course, we've got our shimmer copper. Yep, yeah, this one is ready to roll. Give it just a little stir. So remember, we're looking for cake batter consistency, yogurt consistency. And then our copper is a shimmer, so it should be also good to go. Jana, I'm doing good. I was excited to come on and do some projects <laughs> for my gallery wall. And like I was just saying, I, I've i had this board. I have a couple of boards. Here's another one that I've got down here um, that I've been wanting to do. But I've had orders. Not I'm not complaining. I love having orders um, that I had to get out. So I haven't been able to do this part. So I'm excited to do it. Okay, let's come down. Let's come on down. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do that in copper. Trying to 
decide how I want to do this. All right, so we're going to do the mocha first. Because remember, this is our older formula paste. And so it dries quicker. So I'm going to do the frame and the beaver, and then I can pull that up. You're soaked? It's snowing out. It was, it, there was hail. It's, it's snowing right now. Y'all, Daryl just got back from Mount Vernon from getting that, um, that uh, lawnmower, riding lawnmower, and he said it's snowing. <laughs> was this in the forecast? No. Yeah, just well, the, I was the telling the everybody on here, I'm in the, I'm in the, the group, so, oh, no, you can come in. I'm just in the group. Um. And uh, I, we had sunshine, yeah. rain, and hail out here today. Yeah. Okay. So just pushing it through there. I'm going to scrape that back, and then we're going to go ahead and pull that up. I need to get my detail tool because this is what this end is for, to help me pick up the edges. So I'm just going to lift that up, and then we'll just drop it back down. And I'll do the same down here, so that way I don't have to worry about it drying in the screen. Oh, y'all, it's awesome! Yes! So I'm going to hold that up for just a sec, and then we'll just drop it like it's hot. Okay, so now I'm going to push this down, make sure that's all down really well. You definitely want to work, do this when you're working on um, like rougher wood. Okay, so green and copper. So I think I'll grab the copper at the end. And we're going to get our garden herb. If I didn't tell you which green I'm using, it's garden herb. Again, I'm going to try not to go over the parts I don't want to go over. Kind of come up from it. Okay. All right. So we'll just cover all of that. And scrape back the extra. think y'all are going to like that mocha um, there. So really, I guess because we were kind of looking for something in between the two, um, our bark color is what, but I don't have any bark. I'm out of bark. I sold it all. Um, I made some oh, tea. Yeah. Okay. That's a whole story too. I had to dump the first one. <laughs> No, no, I I grabbed and put coffee creamer in the tea. Oh shoot! <laughs> oh y'all, look! Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, hang on, I gotta, I gotta get my backer sheet over here, and we're gonna lay it down. Keep it safe so I can go in and wash it. All right, let's open this up gosh you guys I love it look <laughs> I think the mocha is perfect so I could go back in and make the beaver a darker that's what I'm thinking let it dry lay it back down and and just do not his t not even his tail just his body in the chocolate what do you think Lori is on vacation in New Orleans and it was 34, 34 
three days ago and 70 today. That is crazy, Lori. I know, I love me some Nola though, for sure. I know, aren't we glad he's home safe? That is crazy. Um, I think I get a monogram O, M, and G and do them on house cutouts. <laughs> I love that, I love that, O, M, G. You love it, Lori? It's so cool. And guys, what I love about this is that, all right, I didn't have to do any weeding. Look at all the detail in that guy, in that transfer. I would have been weeding forever. Who who wants to weed? I don't know. No, one and done. So like I said, I might go back, lay it back down and do him um, chocolate, but I don't know, it looks so good. I like the contrast. So let me, let me just clean this up and I'll show you both pieces that we did. Oh, you guys, if you didn't see, I put up, there's uh, two uh, gallery wall uh, frame bundles that I put up. Today, I put up one for the uh, double-sided box frames. Um, because they came back in stock today. So that's only while supplies last. So if you're looking to get, um, what I included in that is two of each size um, with a nice discount for you. And then I kind of laid it out in the picture how you could lay it out on your gallery wall. And remember, they're double-sided. So you could do, you know, one theme for say Christmas and then you could do another theme for like the rest of the year or you know something like that and then you just flip them around so there's that one and there's also one um, in there for the uh, Sylvie frames which is um, Sylvie is what I did the um, tiered tray with made the tiered tray out of those frames um, it's a piece of wood you laid chalk paint on and then distress so, uh, Jana, what I did, it, it's just a piece of wood. It's uh, 10 by 12 that I cut in the garage. And then I painted it with, uh, it's called mink uh, chalk paint. And then we taped it off. And then I dry brushed the white chalk paint on heavily so that it would get distressed look. And, after, and then I took the um, painter's tape. We put painter's tape off and then we got that dry waxed it and then laid down beaver falls and yes that is garden herb uh, two of the six by 18 for the faith trend yes yes perfect so i included two five by fives two five by seven no yeah two five by fives two five by sevens two nine by twelves and two six by 18s so there is eight frames in that bundle for a really good price. Um, and they're the double-sided box frames. So remember, those are one-time use. They're not a chalkboard. Okay, so we did this one. And then we did... We changed out my Christmas Believe, because believe it or not, I still have Christmas stuff up, y'all. I still got the muffin recipe up there. And we changed that out to Life is Better at Grandma's House. And we used the new golden hour the creamy dreamy golden hour we used eucalyptus and we used um doom so those are the colors that we used on that so this is going on my gallery wall and we're going to be working on some other pieces going on my gallery wall i got a lot of stuff i want to get done jana paint them girl girl Okay, we didn't get to this project tonight, but let me show you because, just because Jana said that. So, here's the thing, guys. I don't personally like them dark on both. I don't like that the, so this is white, this side is white, and the other side, so one side is white, this is the nine by 12, and one side is the dark to match the frame, which 
really is cool and there's there's some transfers that are perfect for this darker color but myself I don't it's not my favorite so I paint it or here's what I was playing with and what we're gonna do on this one um, probably Thursday our craft craft thing Thursday and I'm gonna try to be on at 4 o'clock my time on Thursday guys so it'll be fun at 4 um, but look what I did what do you, so it's not bright white like this side but it's white and it has a contrast and I like that so you know what that is it's not paint I whitewashed it I took a white wash stain and put on there so that's what we're gonna do to that big one on Thursday so yeah you and I mean you could dry brush the edges yeah paint them girl if you don't like them paint them change them make them your own my friend But I will tell you, the quality of those, those frames is amazing. They are sturdy, heavy duty, heavy wood. I mean, they feel like high end in your hand. They're very well made. So I love that, but just change the color. So those are the two projects we did tonight with me popping on. I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna go get on my heating pad, put my feet up. I have some I chalk painted the frame to become the brown just don't go with the gray walls yes exactly Shirley make them your own I love that y'all post some pictures in here in the VIP group of your stuff that you've done let's share yeah they are excellent frames for sure joyce loves them all right guys you guys are all the best we have like 18 new members that just joined so if you see them on and chatting um on post make sure you say hey hopefully they'll we'll start seeing them um seeing everybody on the live so i'll see you this thursday four o'clock is the plan my time um fun at four and we will uh we'll whitewash that and i'll show you how i did it Okay. All right. Night, night, everybody. Be blessed. Bye.